You know, I think this may be sending out emails that still have something relating to Hades. I really need to figure out just how to change that in Streamlabs. Hopefully there's not too much noise here. Voice is coming through. And what was I doing? Okay, apparently I was going to ramen shop. Food sounds good right now. Not. Some dude in the news. Slavoj. No, why am I? Oh, I see. That was just a dumb glitch in the quest thing. Ooh, hot pants with greater armor than the probably armored pants that I have right now. I swear, I just walked right through a ghost drink. Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. It's, uh, seems like someone's gonna come in and... It wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, a, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Hmm. And what 
about you once. I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Yeah, you should mention any of this to Jeff. I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. <laughs> of course, they were useless. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm -hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. 
whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Hmm. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The That's beauty the is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. I'm pretty sure that all of these are going to be QAnon conspiracies, so if they are not already. In my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Oh my god, I'm still in this damn follow the cables thing. Wow. That Berserk is kind of legendary, actually. <laughs> what do I have? 9, 6, and 4. 10, 7, and 5. Yeah, I'll go for that. Okay. Cool, cool. Anything new in hand land? Nope. Arms. Well, still have gorilla arms. God, I want the mono wire and the mass blades. Shame I can't have them all. But I could switch. Actually, that seems like a good thing to have. I need 20 reflexes for that. Oh, legendary, right, of course. Sure, yeah, okay. Great, I can probably get that. Get here. Crit damage, damage to drones, crit chance. Heh, <laughs> okay. Well, apparently I'm not smart, of, smart enough for that. Totally get that. Okay. 
awesome. Well, let's just go and equip a few things in here now. Uh, so first, we are definitely going to need some ping. Okay. Let's see. Cyber rare, mal rare malfunction, definitely good. Oh, yes. Yes, make a target lose consciousness. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yes. And what do we want? Uh, contagion, request backup, memory wipe. Haven't had really good luck with memory wipe. That doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Reboot optic has definitely been useful though. Okay. All right. Now I, I feel like I'm ready to hack the planet a little bit. You know what? I am going to do some hilariously bad driving again. There we go. Stay tuned to N54 News for developments on the story. There we go. Narrowly avoided. Barrier right there. And now we do the same thing I always want to do every time I see someone going 30 miles an hour on the on ramp happens all the time here. Yeah, that'll do for a parking job. Yeah? 
doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Have you taken your daily supplement? Remember, one dose needs over five hours of enhanced Well, one thing led to another and some lead was fired. No shit. Between you and those spies? Yeah, burned to a crisp in their own van. Managed to squeeze one of them before, uh... He confessed. But his word isn't worth jack now. Damn! All right, I'll handle things from here. Counseling. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well then, good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. AI control puppet as mayor? I mean... Yeah. Alright, what do we want to do next? Okay, let's uh let's take on the you know, corporation I guess. Where is the nearest convenient Oh, there is no nearest convenient. Ah, oh, fine. Also curious how much that new ride cost but uh, kind of suspect that's gonna be a high ticket item oh
Okay. Well, none of those very interesting, but let's get over there. Stop for me this time. Yes, there we go. Good boy. Oh, last thing of lemon juice. Excellent. You can know the joy of only having one container of lemon juice taking up room in your fridge. Oh, no aviation. Terrible. Yes! Realistic motorcycle physics! Whoa! Yup. That's exactly what happens in the motorcycle crash. That's why you wear a helmet. Otherwise it would be a mess. That is absolutely my kind of problem. Almost not having aviations. I mean, why do you think I got the Chrome to be in the first place? a well-built motorcycle for not taking any damage out of all of that. No! I want to go... No. Can't jump off. Oh well. Oh! Can I? Oh! Can I? No! Maybe? Oh! Can I do it? Can I do it? I can get back on the road. Ah! Fine. I'll go back down here. Nice nod. Do that on purpose. Yes, I did that on purpose. Well spotted. What you gonna do about it? Okay, don't actually... Nothing going on here? Is this a thing? That's not a thing. Okay. One level too high. You blind? Oh! Of course! The quest takes me to dildos! 
Miss the warmth of the corporate lap? That unique thrill of eternal power struggles? Wait. What? I've got a score to settle is all. Aha! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Rats still in the race. Don't you need to be somewhere else? Your piece need oiling? Guitar needs tuning, maybe? Mm, I get it, fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. You know, it's possible that update 1.1 actually removed a lot of dildos. This is actually a uh, thing. Okay. Well, I okay. I've actually got this pretty good pistol here. Let's uh, maybe put a scope on it. Seems like a pretty good thing to do. I certainly have a collection of scopes here, so why the hell not? Okay. Eh, don't really need any mods here. That was entirely predictable. A vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Leave me alone! Alright, you were not actually part of that thing that I just did. For some reason, these people were wanted by the police. Dead or alive. Nothing particularly useful, although I will take the shotgun in. Okay, there we are. Alright, what do we have here? Empty. Huh. Damn. Hello, V. Man, time flies. Inferred death just ain't what he used to be. Key word, inferred. <laughs> but Abernathy is purging the depth. Purged me. They took my house, accounts, implants. But I'm not done. Gonna prove she was wrong about me. Shove it down her throat. Ah, so you make your move stepping on me. Gonna serve my head up on a silver platter? And you think Abernathy will welcome you back? Arms outstretched? That's about the size of it. Oh now turn. God. Hands on your head. Hop to it. Or you'll point at me. Listen, Frank. I'm nobody to Abernathy. Probably doesn't know I exist, if she ever knew. You had it in for her, V. We're setting her up. People don't forget shit like that. No, that wasn't me. That was Jenkins' thing. Just use me as his tool. So what? Back to the office. Recently fired employee walks in, gun in hand. They'll shoot you, and then put me down. Maybe. But see, V, the problem is I have nothing to lose. I am kind of a tool. Clearly won't change your mind. But I'm not about to die with you either. Weapon glitch. I have a wife, please! Nothing like running into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ah, oh, the golden olden days. Not in the mood, Johnny. Should be. 
Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery like him. Have a nice night, V. I'll be at home. Quite as good, although. Oh, same rate of fire. Do like the increased crit damage. That's pretty good. Oh, these things are attacks, okay. When health level is critical, fire rate, reload speed, and damage are increased. Okay, okay, uh, that's actually, you know, let's, uh, let's work with that. Let us do something with that. Yeah, again, don't really feel like putting a thing on that one, but... Okay. Oh, it's got the little uh, ammo counter on the right side of the right side. I like that. Useful. Alright. Clowns. Yes. Let's deal with some freaking clowns. just vault right over that car. Oh, boy. You back over one person. Then the police won't do it. At the end of days. Because all this reckless driving I've been doing is totally fine. But okay, if they can't actually keep up. Keep up. Almost landed directly on that barrier. Oh. So close to being cool. Just like me. Now, go back in. Please. Not good. Woo! Okay. I can get knocked off my motorcycle. That's fun. And take no damage. That, that's great. Hey! Sorry, this is my spot. Gotta go somewhere else. Okay. And now...
do I need to park in a car? Is that what's going on here? It's on its way. Slowly. Maybe. Oh my god, do I have to run to you, car? V, yes? Whoa, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Uh, there's, uh, something on your face. The grenade. Can I ask why? You have a juggling accident or <laughs> something? <laughs> Not cool. You ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V, correct? What is going on? Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Uh, is this going to be one of those things where I have to not crash into anything or else his nose blows up? I'm going to bother you. Why? Very the grenade. You know, the one on your face. Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. <laughs> nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South. I know where Brazil is. <laughs> you never know with you gringos. Not hitting barriers, not hitting the walls, no touching, following traffic signals. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. Came all this way to get takeout. You could say that.
This will be good. What the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? Tell me about the grenade. Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Ooh. Happy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real ice breaker with the ladies. Got me powder for my nose. <laughs> and? Does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here, like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. That was not what I expected. to now eat because that's a thing I can do yes wontons actually you know wontons sound really good right now shit why don't I have more thoughts hey what else can we do how about some rage against the machine This is totally dad jokes, yes. Oh my god, Rogue, yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Manners to kill you when you have a guest around. But notice their eyes, cold and dead. Wait, so there's a quest here. Their corporation exists quest? only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. West I tell you world? now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark my word! Be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn! Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets! They go find you! Let them! The seed has been sown! The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invader's clutches! Okay. 
I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You know what? A hundred eddies? Why the fuck Use not? This I've got 90,000 of them. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. There's one more guy calling Aris. Radio waves the bear hell? the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Their mothership conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for they <coughs> are coming. <coughs> I'm sorry. Just flashbacks of previous relationships. <clears throat> yes. Open your mind before <sighs> it is too late. Let's, uh. Wait, no, this is... this is my street talk's place. What the hell am I doing sneaking in here? I can just walk right in. Christ. How's it going, Misty? You alright? I think so. Not easy, you know. Putting my life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? Him in my head hasn't been too easy either. Yeah, not too many people could handle that. But I still think you two could find a silver lining somehow. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know. I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Hmm. If you turn a blind eye to them, no. right. they have already won. Now, we were going to go do something about Adam Smasher. Scrolled anything good lately? No, 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 definitely not. Okay, fine. We'll go this way. Is that a bad shortcut? But it is not to be unless I can jump here. Crawl through here. Shortcut through here. And leap down on the unsuspecting streets. Hi, guys. Okay. I was dead. 
dead all right. Second, I'd never do that. You don't have to. What? You gonna use your charm? Folks never said no to me. Ever. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, okay, one more time. I'm just gonna talk to Rogue about smashing, right? Then you hand me the wheel, and hop back in the passenger seat. That is the plan. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. You might even enjoy it. I'm actually, regretting this already. Yeah, V speaks for all of us. But, okay, here we go. That's an awfully large pill for 20 million. About fucking time. Hmm. Look a little different. Fuss with your hair or. Fuck, it's good to be back. Never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Tequila old fashioned? I don't know what a blue glass is, but it's gotta be glass. Still churning under that skull? All right. Free way to get started. I don't know what the other one is, but we're getting that. Other one. He's gonna love it. <laughs> sure he will. Jeremiah Grayson. Heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah. Could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins, sloppy second for Grayson, after I banged her. Hey, what the? Hey, drink slinger. Bugging me all game.
think I got something better. Hey, you rue me. What? You've heard about me? Let's get out of here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. Just got a little biz to take care of first. I don't know why my computer is chugging so much right now. Clearly it can't handle its liquor either. Johnny, we're gonna be full Johnny. Let's go back to my place. Where to? Martin Street. But take the long way. Look good on you. Got a light? Maybe I'll call. I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. Blood first thing every morning. Talk about something else, please. Sure. First time you walked out, since there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah. Johnny told you. You don't seem surprised. Was surprised, but not anymore. You probably don't remember. I got flashes here and there. Not everything, thank God. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid. Too bad he's gone completely whacked. Begin to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity? Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. Feels, uh, weird. This. You knowing about Johnny. Face is changing, you know. Still look like V, but that mean smirk, I'd know it anywhere. How he talks, moves, how he smokes. I don't smoke. I know. Could never confuse you two. So sleep soundly. 
Smasher. He tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait. Grayson. Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Know what Smash has been up to all this time? Disappeared after the Sokka Tower assault in 2023. All thought he was gone for good. Then suddenly reappeared. Did a few Mondo jobs for Arasaka, then went right back to ground. Nobody's seen him in years. Except Grayson, apparently. And like me, because he was security for Arasaka. Gonna make me wait thing. all day. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. I'll buzz you when I learn something. Okay. Unbelievable that bastard's somewhere in your head. Nice effects with the red on either side of the irises. idea the pills would lay you out like this. Maybe it wouldn't be bad if you hadn't chased them down with fuck knows what. You ought to be the one puking right now. Yeah, well, life ain't fair. Yeah, you sure picked the right moment to bolt out of my body. Ought to be happy I left it all. Oh, I am. Look at me, spewing joy in rainbows. Mm -hmm. Like a fucking ray of sunshine. Well, we moving? Oh shit, not good. Elizabeth is right. Like, yeah, telling him what's up is not going to make any difference at all. The hell is this place? A place where you can puke all over the carpet, no problem. Beggar, not chooser. So we're going to wait for Rogue. All right. Waiting, waiting. Hospital. Meet. Head over to River. Hey, let's just get all of our contacts out of the way. Uh, 
log books. Might as well. So, feeling better? <laughs> no. I think it was here. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I'm glad she's still in touch. Not coming? Hi. Not really my jam, picnics. But you have fun. Hey. Spinning a new song anyway. Rather focus Over on here. that. Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Um. Soy meat? Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. With the Joss and sweat away in the kitchen, wow. Oh, Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. And this game has now become overcooked. All right. Cyberpunk you stirred edition. enough. Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. 
But I always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. Ah, oh, listening to gossip. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm hmm Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy had... Uh, don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. Okay. These are just things. Uh, okay. I guess. All right. Nothing particularly interesting. <laughs> Freshness questionable. Quality new spices of the world. That's Maddie, I nice. Always do. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Oh, thank you. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair, and a beer, or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah, seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. Seems like a more politic way of asking that question. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? Oh, my parents died. No. I'm sure you want to hear this. Is he Batman? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. Loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my mom crying. Well, my dad swore they'd found all we had. Was gassed out of his mind. He fired first, blew half my dad's skull off. 
Jesus, River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. One rabbit handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. That's fucking dark. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that roaming free. No one to hunt him. Was Joss there too? Saw all this? Mm -hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her mom's head. I can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again. But I was also the junkie who shot my parents. I understand. I've ended a few lives in my time, but never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? You join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Seriously? Oh my god. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V. Allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. <laughs> yeah, me too. <coughs> Ooh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> but something always drags you back. The city needs me. <laughs> oh my god. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablan. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's Mastermind ever. <laughs> Lieutenant Crazy, Henry Callahan, Captain Joan by the book McLean. This is amazing. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco y Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. 
The team with the best result wins. Yeah, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, the kids are gonna kick my ass. Maybe. I mean, come on. Just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Let the kids win. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Kumis! He's hit! He's hit! Not half bad. Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give him credit. The kid's delivery of these lines is superb. It's a trap. They were waiting for us. Take that! It's not too, half bad. too many donuts. Ah, not us. done yet. Why are these docks called Ebenike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. Maybe you found Grayson? You really got him in with Smasher. Come see me, Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Lunch is ready. But mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. Ah, they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Huh. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Used to see family as baggage, 
Something that'd hold me back, you know, career first. Didn't do any better for not having one, though. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of, be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves jambalaya. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I like this skeptical. I mean, I don't exactly voice. look like good palm material myself, so. Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself. <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um. Well, that's decided. <laughs> Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Oh dear. The cliches. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. Here we are. What are we looking at? Are we? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. Okay. This way. I oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. I think I can get up myself. No need. Whoa! Okay, we like leaping. Yes, Just push. we do. Seems easier to open from that side. Ugh. Okay. On our way. The area's not bad, actually. Unlike the dazzle. Fresh, you know. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. No. Oh, okay, we're going all the way up. I guess. Okay. I'll follow you. Nice pants. Good sheen on them. Very glistening. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Oh shit, not good. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Oh, over here. Scrapers actually seem pretty majestic out here. Not seeing what goes on inside. Memories? High stress, dirty backstabs, kind of pressure that gives you ulcers. Somehow, I just don't miss it. Got something for you. Wow. What's the occasion? Aiming to close a door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. <laughs> Joss's <laughs> husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. 
Up for a drink? I mean, he just gave me a firearm, of course. Something it's strong sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Ooh. Ooh, how much shit do I stir up? I may have to do it. To us. Whoa. Please. Sorry, I, I thought... What are you doing? <laughs> I... Look, no need to explain. Listen. I get it. And it's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. You got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. It's gonna be a long night and a longer morning. Shit, do we stir up? Oh no, where did I put that? of the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now i gotta roll promised joss i'd take her to see randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need you sure you're good to drive <laughs> please former ncpd <clears throat> i'm a pro on hangover highway I'll be fine Apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Oh, shit. So, Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Okay, I can't just tell her myself. Fine. Oh, affliction. Wait, if I scan Good him, morning. Does it say affliction Not hangover. Intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh fuck! You need me to fix it now. Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. up with the generator I don't know but electricity's out and then his room needs tidying I'm supposed to do that I know how it sounds but this one time please Are they actually programmed to just do all these chores or are they just gonna walk off somewhere and stand there if I follow them okay She's going. Judy. Love these little notes from Judy. Those are cool. Ha. Huh. Now I can everything okay between you and River? Yeah. Finally found common ground. Better late than never. Silver lining, considering the circumstances. When I thought I might never see my Randy again. 
but all's well that ends well. I got my Randy back, and my brother too. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. Let's no, we've been down this conversation. Change the subject. Path. I hope it's nothing but bright days ahead for Randy. You never know with him. I swear. Not since he lost his father. That's a pretty tough blow for a kid to weather. But after what that psycho did to him, I think it could change things for the better. Don't doubt it. Joss, River told me about your parents. He must really trust you. He'd hardly tell a soul about them. It must have been a nightmare to see them die like that. How'd you hold up? The orphanage put some things in perspective, but mostly it was us having each other. For a while. But my brother's obsession got the better of him. Like he needed to catch all the world's killers with his own two hands. Really all bad. A cop with a calling is one rare breed. Hmm. I guess. But well, I prefer how he is now. I mean finally come to terms with life that. and himself. <laughs> Hang in there, Joss. Alright, so we are taking care of quests before the very last one. Although I can probably take care of a lot of these afterwards as well, but, you know, who knows? Yes, this one's new. Smasher. What's it? One forty three. Yeah. Uh, might be a good time to uh... head out somewhere. going to do was try crafting a new iconic weapon. Okay, apparition, okay. Crash, cool. Oh, Lizzie, okay. Can definitely upgrade Lizzie. don't have enough epic item components. Oh well. I'm not going to for any of these. So I could upgrade apparition. Three twenty-eight, and if I upgrade it, and 
I've already got it. Wait, wait a minute. Where did you go? There we go. All right, 310. Is it worth the extra 18? No, I don't think so. Let's just run over here and we'll What the hell? Hello Night City. I'm Jillian Jordan with N54 News. And this is your World News Update. At this year's Federalist Party National Convention, NUS President Rosalind Myers announced her intent to run for another term. Her campaign slogan, A Return to Unity, sends a clear message of the President's desire to, quote, strive for unification on every possible front. According to an N54 News poll, Approximately 78% of Night City residents would like their city to join the Union. Time will tell if the hopes of these many people will be realized. At a press conference earlier today, scientists from Kirling University demonstrated the extraordinary capability of a next-gen 3D printer they have dubbed Artifacts. Artifacts is capable of interpreting the user's brain activity to then produce the object they have visualized in their mind. The printer, which has been engineered in cooperation with Swiss giant Moore Technologies, is expected to be commercially available as early as next year. Australia says farewell to the last koala living in the wild, affectionately dubbed the Mega. Though technically a wild animal living on the outskirts of Sydney, the city government supported the fluffy marsupial with 11 pounds of eucalyptus leaves and fresh water from the Municipal Botanical Garden every day. Omega garnered huge media attention a few years ago when Sydney residents organized a protest in response to the planned euthanasia. Oh, can I actually use this one? No. Okay. Wow, I actually do have to drive all the way there? Jeez. Okay. Let's, uh, use a motorcycle there.
Go this way. And I'll just run over a couple more people here because hell if they've already reported the crime. Why the hell not? Okay. I guess I'm going this way then. Look, please will completely forget all about. location. You there. Really? Sir, did Dakota send you? That's right. You got the goods? Right here. Dinalar Super Kidney. Especially for sickle cell anemics. Just like we agreed. Alright, how's this going to go wrong? Maybe we'll get to you in. Yeah, yes. Later, I know. I have to go now. I'm operating. <laughs> Streets comes beating They never make it easy, right do they? Let's try that with something else. a little farther than I thought it would fly. So let's try popping it up here. God damn it! Okay.
Fuck! Getting our asses handed to us out here! Yes, you are. Anything more? No? Good. Uh. Down the front of the hospital, boy. I won't if you. This better be worth it. What? No. That wasn't what I... Oh, my God. Oh. Why is the same key kill and select conversation branch? Like, why? Why would you make those the same key? Oh, let's try this again. Okay. Yes, I will take your gun. Okay. Let's try this again. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I won't if you can give me an explanation, and it better be fucking good. The phone call with Dakota. It was tapped. The police. They made me do it. <laughs> nice try. Badges wouldn't go to all that trouble over a kidney implant. Wait, please. It's the truth. They said they were rounding up every last Raff and Shiv member in Night City. But Dakota isn't... Oh, fuck it. Never mind. You won't get it. Please let me go. I, I didn't want to get mixed up in this. I had no choice. <sighs> Fine. Unlike the badges, I don't kill people without a good reason. Okay. I mean... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You should be thanking me, not God. Isn't that what docs always say? Oh my God, that's the worst dialogue. <laughs> wait, wait! The super kidney. The police put a virus onto it. Use the firmware from this shard if you want the patient to live. This better be worth it. Wait, didn't, didn't we say without a word? Like, was that explicitly in the response? Alright. Well, let's get this thing delivered. A vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine. Do not keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable hey, to determine yourself. the precision. Whoa, way the hell out there. Vice location.
I got Jake's implant, but there's a virus on it. You'll have to swap out his firmware with the original on the shard. <laughs> what a surprise. Nomads always get special treatment. Thanks for being careful, V. Come by in a few hours. Things should settle down by then. Eighteen hours for the results. Okay, well, I'll find out something to do in the meantime. All right, and that seemed like a great time to save and quit. Good night, everyone.